27 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a lazy loading by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if i just refresh my page so here you can see this background image will be first of all blur if the time goes on so their blurriness will be gone so now let me just refresh there one more time and this is what we are going to be building in this project so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and now let's just create this project all right guys so welcome to the 27 project of this course so in this video we are going to be creating a lazy loading project so first of all we have to create a folder we have to give him a name of like o27 and then i want to give him a name of like lazy loading okay inside this folder we have to create three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style.css third one will be let me just check here to app and third one will be app.js and now we are good to go so now let me just zoom in a bit so we can see everything a bit better and now let's change this text title to be like lazy loading and also just link it with our css and also link it with our javascript all right the meta and now let's zoom out a bit okay and then right click on it and open with the live server all right so now we are good to go so the for html we are not going to be writing a lot of html but it's going to be quite simple and easy so the first thing i would do is i'll just create a section with the class of background like background okay so that's going to be there and then we have to just create a div with the class of loading text okay and first of all we have to just pour like zero percent server file and this is how it looks like right now okay so for CSS, now let's just style both of these deals. So we are going to be just removing uh, our ugly box size and border box. And then we have to just write our body. Like font family, you can choose whichever you like. But in my guess, I'm going to just go with sans serif. And then display will be flex because we want everything to be center. And flex direction will be colon. Okay, and align items will be also center. And then we have a justify content. We already did that. Then we have a height. And we height will be 100 VH. Overflow will be hidden. And then we have a margin of zero. Mar margin of zero. Cell file. So now our text is perfectly center. Okay, so the next thing which you have to select is our background. So I'll just select this background, which is this background, by the way. So then we have to just provide our background image. So I'll just write like background, not color, but image will be fine. Or, you know, what, just background will be also fine. So here I'll just write a URL. And now let's just grab our image from somewhere like unsplash.com, nature, or buildings will be fine okay so i'll just go with the buildings and there is a premium one but we are not interested in that one so now let's grab uh i don't know i guess i'll grab this one uh which one will be fine i guess this one will be fine so if i click on that then right click on it and copy image address okay and then i'm gonna place it right here cell file and nothing will show up because we're importing a height and nothing to it so let's just center it perfectly so no repeat will be fine then center it center and then center and cover it okay save file and still nothing's gonna happen because we don't have any height whatsoever so position of this image will be just uh, absolute and then we have a top will be minus 30 pixel and then duplicate it and left will be also minus 30 pixels so that's there and then the width will be calc and this calc function allows us to do calculation of a value so we are going to be writing 100 vw and plus 60 pixel okay duplicated and change this one to vh from this case because we are going to be changing that as a height and then we have a z index of minus one and filter will be blur for now and blurness will be zero so we cannot see nothing if we save our file so this is how it looks like right now okay so you know what this is kind of a blurry image so let me just change this image to something else like i don't know this one will be fine so now I'll right click on it and copy image address and go and change this image to this one so save our file and now here you can see we have our image right here and everything is looking cool all right so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to just write a loading text which is this loading text right here and we have to give them just a font size of 50 pixel and then the color will be totally red 
so here you can see our text has grown up a bit and the color is also changed to red all right so now let's jump right into our javascript and do a little bit of interactivity so i'll just first of all select like const load text it will be now equals to document.query selector and now let's select our loading text which is um this one right here loading text and now let's duplicate this line of code and change this one to background okay and change this one to background so the first thing i will do is i'll just create a scale function so it's going to be a little bit of weird so i'll just write a const scale and it will be now equals to the first parameter will be num and then we have a in min and then we have like uh in max and then we have out min comma and then we have finally we have out max okay and it will be now equals to that so now we have to just return like num minus in min and now let's just wrap that in our brackets okay and then it will be times this out max minus out min and then let's just wrap these two these brackets okay and then divide that by in max a minus in min okay and it will be now plus out min okay so our file and this is our scale function right here the next thing which you have to do is to create our loading counter so i'll just write let load it will be now equals to zero for now and then we have to create a function given name of like blurring so inside this blurring function we have to just write like load plus plus we have to increment that anytime we call this function so load text will be just our inner text not html but text will be now equals to this load and percent right here and then we have to also change this load text dot style dot opacity the style dot opacity will be now equals to that scale function which we create scale and then we have to pass our variable of load and zero comma hundred comma one comma zero then we have to also change the filter from this background so i'm going to just write like background and then just write like style dot filter and it will be now equals to um this blur inside this blur function we are going to be just providing our scale function right here and the first variable will be load and then zero comma hundred comma 30 will be the value a third parameter to be precise and then zero and finally we have to just add our pixels right there so now once we see our file that is going to still happen because we have to create our int variable so that int will be now equals to this uh not document but set interval and here let me just change this one to set interval and now the value will be first one will be blurring or blurring function comma 30 okay so now if we save our file and now let's check this so here you can see everything is working the way we expect him to work okay so now let's do a little bit of check right here so if this load variable is greater than 99 so then we want to just write like a uh, clear interval and then just provide our int right there so once we save our files so here you can see once we hit that 99 so this will clear our internal right here okay and we'll just see the image and no blurring and no whatsoever okay all right so this is what i want to show you in this project so if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right to the next one and if you guys do know about git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to doing right now so i'll just write like git status so we have this out 27 so i'll just use like git add everything then git commit dash m and then i'll just write a commit for myself like lazy loading and now hit enter and then finally we have to push our code into origin main okay so if we hit enter and now everything is working the way we expect him to work let's refresh our browser and now here you can see we have this out 27 folder inside this out 27 folder you can find all of our code right here okay so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye